First, let's look at the setup here. Uh, we need the lead side to be a nice straight line uh, from the outside of the left foot, the left hip, and the left shoulder. Uh, you can see that he's actually leaning a little bit towards the target here. Uh, that puts him in a bad position. He's not behind the ball. He's actually kind of over the ball. His weight isn't set correctly, and he's not able to just rotate around the trail leg and then finally rotate around the front leg. Uh, we rotate around the trail hip on the way back and the lead hip on the way forward. We see a lot of golfers that rotate either around the spine, right there in the middle, or only around the trail hip, never get to the front hip. Let's see what happens here. We're going to advance the swing slowly. Notice that he's pulling his hip off the line, off the line, everything's swaying. That's not a rotation, that's a sway. Uh, some of my students call it a swerve. Instead of a turn, you're swerning, you're swaying and trying to turn at the same time. We're not getting a lot of rotation here. The shoulder really hasn't turned at all uh, towards the golf ball. And then he's going to slide back into it. And now you're going to see, here's the pivot. So while he didn't get up to the front line, he's not able to generate power. Uh, so we're going to do two things here. We're going to try to get him to quit the, sw the swern and just go to a turn. We're going to have him shift his hips that way at setup so that his hips are on the line. We're going to have him tilt his spine a little bit on this line more so that the shoulder and everything is lined up. Shoulder, lead hip, lead foot are all on the same line. So we can pivot around that. Then we're going to try to get him to pivot his shoulders uh, let's undo that, undo that. That didn't make sense. We're going to pivot his shoulders so that the lead shoulder, let's clear everything out of the way, ends up at least past the golf ball. I would like to see both shoulders at this point on this, on this line right here. So he's really rotated. Now he's scooping. See the right hand is still under the club. I want him to mimic that position on this side. He doesn't do it you got to get the club released for it to generate any power. And these are all things that he does in his practice swing, which is kind of odd. Uh, he does a great turn in his practice swing. He's got great rhythm and tempo. Uh, in his real swing, he tends to get real fast. Go ahead and play this at full speed. You'll see what I mean. Really short.